And we're back. Mike Cernovich. Banned video from Amazon. Pretty absurd. Uh, actually, kind of dumb. Uh, hoax movie has been banned from Amazon. No explanation has been given. And on their little page, their little page is so dishonest. Yes, ma'am. Their little page is so dishonest. Yes, ma'am. In a little bit. So Syra wants the black iPad. So I can just show you um, a minute ago. So Amazon, you know, lo long story short, short story long. Uh, we did hoaxed movie through um, Vimeo only release. Had a good, you know, good distribution. Uh, things went well. And we ended up then going, you know, for wider distribution. Amazon, iTunes, Google Play, Xbox, pretty much everywhere. Everywhere films are. Uh, made and Amazon was kind of like the last one I thought would be in host. Am Amazon was the last one that I would have expected would have expected to be in hoax because it's not a you know it's controversial just in the sense that any kind of of art is controversial but it's not um, you know it's not rude um, there's no hate speech we don't even go near. You know, we don't go near any kind of, you know, potentially what you would call like sensitive topics. So there, there's nothing that could even come close to the line of like hate speech. Literally, literally nothing. Anybody who's watched it, um, anybody who's watched it can tell you that. And I just they banned it. <laughs> I mean, there's no other way to put it. Earlier today, um, earlier today, I saw that Amazon is no, no longer showing up in host. A few people had told me, oh, you know, I try to watch Hoaxed on uh, Amazon, and it's just not showing up. And I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense. You know, it's it's been up there, no, no problem. And then I went on Amazon, and I typed in Hoaxed, and it didn't show up in search results. And I said, oh, man, are you kidding me? <sighs> you know, are you, are you kidding me? In a way, it's kind of like a boiled frog sort of scenario you're just you know i'm not even mad anymore just are you kidding me hoaxed of all things to ban hoaxed the most just even keeled <laughs> fair-minded documentary that you could imagine you're like hoax are you out of your minds bro are you out of your minds and amazon if you read the page it says um, this title is currently unavailable our agreements with the content provider don't allow purchases of this title at this time. Well, the content provider is my distributor, right? The, the people who own the distribution rights. And the people who own the distribution rights are as shocked by this as anyone else. So this is just their typical little, you know, typical little cop-out, which is our agreements with the content provider don't allow purchases of this title at this time. To try to make it look like I pulled it, Right. That way, somebody reads it, they're like, oh, okay, you know, they must be in some kind of, like, fight over royalties. Oh, okay, you know, it must be, you know, equal 50-50. Who there, there is no 50-50 here. They unil Amazon unilaterally pulled it, and they're pulling it from people's libraries. That's where it gets interesting. That, that's where it gets interesting. The, the equivalent of the um, flu crew as we like to call them, as we call the coronavirus deniers, the flu crew, is the build your own platform crew. The build your own platform crew, I'm like, Amazon can do whatever they want. Build your own Amazon, right? Forgetting that Amazon's a monopoly, Amazon's profiting from coronavirus, right? Though so Amazon profits from propaganda of the Washington Post. But Amazon can't sell you my film and then steal your money. That's what Amazon has done. They have stolen your money. People are sending me receipts where they purchased a film. The film is no longer available in their video library. So what we will be doing are some interesting, uh, we have some interesting things uh, cooked up. We have some absolutely, some lawsuits. If it doesn't get resolved, you know, who knows? Um, maybe Amazon will just give us the line, oh, there was a algorithm error. You know how they do it. I don't care. I don't let them lie. I don't care. They can come say there was an algorithm error and Cernovich is just so dumb he didn't understand it, right? Whatever. Whatever they're, you know, I don't care. Just put the film back up, right? 
And because lawsuits are a lot of hassle, even when you're the one filing them, even when you have a strong lawsuit, it's a lot of hassle. Let's put my film on there. Or we can do it another way. We can do it another legal way. Pretty, pretty straightforward. So I'm just being clear here that I did not pull the film. My distributor did not pull the film. There is no um, agreement where the distributor is like, sure, pull the film. This is just not true. Amazon pulled the film for whatever kind of reason, some BS reason, we don't really know. So what can you do? Well, you can buy the, you can still buy it on iTunes for um, <laughs> forever, <laughs> for, for however long that lasts, you can still buy um, Amazon on iTunes and Google Play and Xbox Live and Vudu and Hulu and what's up with Vudu and Hulu? You know, all these weird names. You can buy it everywhere but Amazon now, right? So you can buy it everywhere. Um, you can buy it everywhere on Amazon. iTunes is the best place to buy it probably right now. And hopefully we get it resolved. If not, then I'll just, you know, escalate matters um, in terms of the law stuff. And, you know, we'll do what we got to do. You can also um, contact... You can also contact Amazon on Twitter. You can email Amazon customer support. If you have an Amazon account, you can message their customer service. There's, you know, just politely say, hey, you know, I was trying to buy this product and I can't buy it. Or in the case that you did buy it, you know, <laughs> they've stolen your money because it's not available anymore. So that, that'll, be, that'll be neat. But right now, just rent it on iTunes right now. You can rent it, stream it on iTunes. You can buy it on iTunes. You can buy it from a bunch of other platforms. I don't know what people use for these kinds of things. And, yeah, I don't know what other platforms people use, but I've been told it's on Xbox. So if you're a gamer, it's in the Sony Xbox store, it's in the Google Play store, it's on the YouTube store. It's all over. To me, it's just easier to, to tell people that you can get it on iTunes. And, yeah, that's it. So, you know, if you want to go... Right now, you can go to the iTunes store. You can rent it for four ninety nine, buy it for twelve ninety nine. It has you know pretty dark scar and good reviews. How long? How much longer will it be here? I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see. We don't know though. It might be taken tonight. Might you know? Might be taken in an hour. You know who? Who really knows? I am officially running for President of the United States, and we are going to make our country great again. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. How do we explain how this is possible? How did this happen? Since Election Day, questions have been raised about the role that false news stories distributed online played in the final result. There's been a lot of talk lately about fake news, fake news, fake news, hoax sites and hyperpartisan blogs, a threat to democracy. All media is narrative. And we are in a war of narratives. I think it's interesting to have someone like Mike doing a documentary about fake news because it's owning a term that has been directed at him. Until it happens to you, you, you can't really understand how powerful the fake news is. People who have been printed in the media a lot can start to identify. Yes, I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, this is good PR, you know, this is this. I don't need the PR, you know? People bought the film. That's what kills me about this is I'm way past, like, oh, any good, any publicity. I don't need publicity. I'm fine. Trust me. I am so beyond fine with where my public level is. I am... Three times bigger than I want to be, right? That's why I've like fl flown under the radar in a, in a lot of ways, right? You're not seeing me out there like in, in the way I used to do it, streaming every day and just really, you know, banging every day. I am so, so, so cool with where I am, right? So I don't need that. Yeah, this will be a nice PR boost. I don't need it though. It's the opposite. I don't want the PR boost. I don't want the media. I don't want the coverage. I just want to be able to make my indie films and, you know, have, have them do well enough that I'm not going to end up in the poorhouse doing them. And, you know, if I make a little bit of money, this was where I would have made money for doing the film, actually. All the Vimeo money went to, to pay back. So the Vimeo money went to pay back the loans and other things that it took, the production costs. 
So I've got no money from all my work on it. Right? And by the way, people backed it on Kickstarter too, so it was a labor of love. So I was always I was always okay with that. I was always okay with it being a labor of love, right? But then we had to borrow some money and you know, da 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 other things. So the Vimeo paid back the production loans and put us at pretty close to break even. You know, maybe I'm down five grand or ten grand or something like that. But you know, close enough that we, you know, we pay back the production loans. And then the Amazon iTunes, that was going to be, you know, the, the money. That was the profit. That, and that would roll into the, another film. It's not like I'm going to buy a Lamborghini or something, you know. That was just, okay, this cash, the Amazon cash, the, you know, the, the royalties from all these other platforms, that'll go roll into the next film. So it's a little, you know, I, I may be being a little understated when I talk about how angry I am. But I got to be careful when I talk about these things. Just I have two kids, I have two daughters, this is like their livelihood, you know. I think this is what a lot of people don't really appreciate is if I were just a steroid-using douchebag in Vietnam where all I did was go to the gym and read books and goof off, I would not care. I have two daughters, so when you're doing things like this, you're not going after me. This is not how I see it when you attack me. I think this is something people don't, because I seem calmer. Oh, Mike, you're calm and everything. Okay, calm before the storm. I view this as a direct attack on my daughters. This is how I see it. This is their money. I'm not taking this money and YOLOing, popping bottles and buying tables and everything like that, right? I'm just, I'm happy here to wear Costco fleece and some blue blocker glasses from Amazon. So you're not, you're not stealing money from me. When you attack me unfairly, you're not attacking me. I view this as a direct attack on my daughters. And I do keep track of this. And a few people... You know, their lives have taken a pretty bad direction. A um, couple people in prison, just things legally, legally, things, uh, you know, I move things a little bit differently because I view it as an attack on my family. I just don't view it as an attack. I don't, I don't care about attacks on me, right? I don't care if I was just living, you know, guerrilla mindset, writing books, going to the gym, riding motorbikes around Vietnam, smoking Cuban cigars, eating sashimi with Shauna, but, you know, you can do whatever you wanted to me. I wouldn't care because I, I don't care what you attack me. But when you try to make it so that you're stealing money from my daughters, essentially, and if you see my social media, you see how I care about my daughters. You can see how I feel about that. So that would just be my advice to people is that whatever you think you're getting away with because I'm not doing anything immediately <laughs> – Keep thinking that. Yeah, keep thinking it. Keep thinking it just like Joel Davidson's in prison, right? Keep thinking just like David Campbell's in jail. Keep thinking it just like a guy who I won't name had police knocking on his door. He lost his job. You think I haven't gotten people fired before too? You think I don't, you think I don't know how to pull the legal levers? You think if you attack me that I just go away? No, 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 no. I go through all your tweets. I do a whole file. Yeah, I'll just tell you what I do when you go after me. I'll just tell you. I don't care. When you go after me now because I have daughters and I view you as attacking my daughters, I go through your social media and I find every offensive tweet. I archive my screen cap them. And then I find out where you work. And then I email your HR rep at work and I email your outside counsel at work who's done any kind of employment discrimination cases. And if you're in a bigger comp corp company with the general counsel, I email your general counsel. That's what I do. I don't... I don't argue with people on Twitter, right? I just say, look, I found these tweets. I think this person is a predator, you know, sexual predator maybe, maybe child sexual predator. You know, here's what the tweet says. And, you know, I think this is, I'm kind of afraid of what this person might do at, at his job, you know? And, I, and I'm a lawyer, so I know how to use all the magic words. You know, I feel like this is a workplace safety issue. And I feel like this is the kind of person who might commit some kind of violent act at work, maybe a workplace shooting, I don't really know. So I just wanted to see you to see these tweets that are violent and predatory and everything else. And when lawyers, I can tell you what lawyers do when they get those kind of emails. I can tell you, because I'm a lawyer, I can tell you what the HR rep does when they get these emails. You don't go in there and be like, oh, I was just joking. Oh, just joking. <laughs> you know what lawyers say when, when, when they're... Uh, presenting you with tweets that you've said that are violent? Well, why is this funny? Are you laughing now? Is this funny? 
That's what I do to people. So keep that in mind. Um, <laughs> keep that in mind just because I'm cool and calm and I'm not, you know, fighting with people online or whatever. I just, I found better, better ways to do things. I, I just have dossiers on people and they all go to HR and I have somebody monitor the people's LinkedIn. So then when they get a new job, I follow them to that new job, right? So if I get you fired from one job, we're monitoring your LinkedIn and then I make sure this new job hears about that. And I go, oh, I just want to make sure this is what I do. So that's just my advice to people is if you want to, um, if you want to attack my daughters, that's, that's what's going to happen. And that's just me not, there's other things too. All legal, by the way, this is all legal. So people can cry about it. You know, people can cry about it all they want. People can just whine all they want. You can whine from a jail cell like David Campbell crying. He's in Rikers. Right. David Campbell wanted to be a tough guy at one of my events in 2017. Took three years to get him in prison. Took three years. You think I won't spend three years if you attack my family? You think I'll forget about you in three years? It just takes a little while to get, you know, get down the list. But David Campbell, convicted felon, he liked to travel internationally. You know, so you think I won't let Interpol know? You think you think I haven't sent letters to consulates in various um, countries about his violent felony conviction? You think he's just going to travel now to, to, to France? I read he likes to travel. I, I read he loved to go to Paris. So you think that I'm just going to hope that when he tries to travel to Paris again and they scan his passport that they find this stuff? Or do you think I sent certified mail with the copies of the convictions to every consulate in every European country? Right? See, this is what people... This is what people have to have to think about is you just you have to think about the consequences of targeting me and my family. And if you target me in a way that's financial, you are targeting my daughters. That's that. Any in any way? So any I can just assure you that I know more legal levers than I know I know more legal levers than the people coming after me. So I would just my advice is let's just not do this, okay? My advice is, how about I spend my time on other things, right? How about you spend your time on other things? How about we all just occupy our time in a very productive way? And if you choose not to, if you choose to try to be some kind of thug, thinking you're tough or whatever, just know that I'm not going to go back thug with you and attack you unlawfully. I'm not going to be a tough guy. I don't need to be a tough guy. I've been a tough guy before. Come shove me. You know what I'll do? I've done this to people. You got a copy of that? Get the police over here. Cop looks at me sometimes, you know, because I'm not a small guy. I've had police look at me like, are you kidding me? You think I'm going to arrest this guy, right? I'm like, well, as a matter of fact, yeah, you will. You will arrest them or else I'll sue you for not protecting me, right? <laughs> well, you can't win. Well, I'm a lawyer. Do you want to try me? You know, I remember having that conversation with a couple of police because I respect police. But a woman, you know, spit on me. And I, so I called the police. We had it on camera. And the police officer's like, you really want me to arrest a woman for attacking you? I said, yeah, I do, actually. They go, well, you know, this is just... They always try to play it out like, we don't really know what happened. Oh, the situation happened. And I, so then, you know, I'm very polite. And I always say, look, officer, I'm Blue Lives Matter. I support law enforcement 100%. And I go, I'm just telling you that because I just also want to make it clear that I am a lawyer and I'll vindicate my legal rights in court and I was assaulted and you have evidence of a crime being committed. And if you let this person off, you know, you can claim technically you don't have to arrest her. So I've seen women arrested, back of police cars being pulled away, right? So you hit me, I don't hit you back. You attack me, try to get me, you know, try to get me banned or something, attacking my daughter's, you know, college fund. I'm not going to do anything violent. I'm just going to say, okay, you're on the... <laughs> You're on the radar now. You're so everything you do is being scrutinized now. And when you eventually screw up, because everybody does, that'll be caught and that'll be cataloged and that'll be sent to your HR department and everybody, you know. So, you know. So let's just again, I'm calling for peace not because not because I'm afraid. I'm calling it for it because people initiate aggression against me and they just have no idea how far I'll take it lawfully, right? 
they they just they don't know where like there's people who who left fake um fake reviews on hoaxed. I'm gonna sue them in their home state for Lanham Act violations, right? So when some person who probably isn't successful, probably they're gonna be like, oh, I'm being sued, and they're gonna like try to cry that I'm suing them. People are like, why'd you get sued? Well, I left a fake Amazon review. It's like, well, that's illegal. That's a violation of the Lanham Act, right? It's like you don't really have a defense. You you know if you if you watch my if you didn't watch my film and you left a fake review, you don't have a legal defense for that. You can cry about it. Oh, I'm being mean, but there's no defense. You're just you're cooked. You're done. Just over, right? So all these people, they're like, well, I didn't know this could happen. Well, should have thought it through. So, you know, and that's just a good lesson for all of us, right? Just don't overtly antagonize people. There's no reason to do that. There's no reason to leave fake reviews on people's products. There's no reason to try to get people's livelihoods like mine destroyed. There isn't. I'm not doing anything illegal, even hateful. I don't even talk about hate issues, right? That's what blows me away is like, I don't even talk about things. I just share the news, debunk some fake news stuff, expose some hoaxes. I'm not out there talking about like edgier subjects. I'm pretty milk toast, right? Pretty milk toast. So we should all, let's just all be good to each other. Again, not because I'm afraid, but because we all have a better use of our time. All right, thanks for listening. Uh, let Amazon know how you feel about them banning a film. Uh, the positive aspirational move, go ahead and watch it on iTunes. It could be gone in an hour from iTunes, too. could be gone tomorrow. I don't know, man. That's not hype. When Amazon came or when Hoax came out, I was like, you better watch it now. It might get banned. People are like, oh, why would they ban it? There's nothing wrong with it. I know. I know there isn't. That's the whole point. You have to change your mind. There's nothing bannable about it. A left winger who writes for The Intercept is like, there's nothing wrong. There's literally the left lefties who have watched it have said there's nothing wrong. There's no reason to ban this. That doesn't matter, right? Right and wrong ain't got shit to do with what these people are doing at Amazon or these other companies. It's just they're going to do whatever they can get away with. Whatever, it's will the power on their end. So hopefully, you know, iTunes will let you watch it for another couple days. We'll see. Go to iTunes right now, watch Hoax the Movie, talk about Hoax Movie, hype it <laughs> while, while you still can. All right, Hoax Movie, Mike Cernovich, available on Amazon. No, I'm, I'm see, I'm programmed. Amazon, I, watch Hoax Movie, no longer available on Amazon because it's been freaking banned. But you can watch The Human Centipede. You can watch movies about pedos. You can watch movies glorifying serial killers. You can watch anything, but you can't watch a movie critical of the news. Hoaxed movie at iTunes. Watch it while you can.